bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. <laughs> yes, I want to cut the wire. <gasps> wait, wait, no! Wait, yes! Dude! He dropped an anvil on that! Acne style. That's great. I am working on a revolutionary technology that will change all life in this colony. Nay, the world! Alright. Good for you. More watermelons. You got orange juice. Combo meal. C -c Combo meal and life jam. Heck yeah! Alright, let's get back to this show. Oh, look at that one with the top hat! Mustache Mole, someone, please help me. I am in need of a handsome young gentleman. You, yes. Me? You dare in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes, ho, ho, ho. Yes, you look like you'll do just fine. <laughs> it was Hero. <laughs> I knew it. Uh-huh. Wow, um... Why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir. Will you help out a poor lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way. Chop, chop. Oh, wait, hold on. I can... Can my friends come too? Ah, oh, yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart Quest, yes? If so, you will all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir, we must make haste. Time is short. Hero left the party. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. It's gonna be fun. Greetings, Sweetheart fans! We apologize for the shirt. Short, shirt, short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program! During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> Man, they got that portrait ready so fast. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. Anyway... But the show must go on! On. Oh, no. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three! Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in shining armor! He doesn't want to go on. In shining pajamas! Get this, guys. Hero's a real hunk. Standing at a whopping 5 foot 7 inches. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show! Dim the lights, please, and this time hold the lightning! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most bullshit... <laughs> bullcritiness... I don't know how to say that. Bullcritiness face? Yes. You know who we're talking about. She is all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one. The only. The magnificent. Oh my gosh, she's got a Renge voice. Oh! Dear Lord, help me. Should I give her a Valley Girl accent? I like the little squeaks they gave her for a laugh. <laughs> an, en an excellent entrance, my liege. Ah, yes. 
It is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. She has the same skin tone as the Sprout Moles. Maybe she's a cosplayer? <laughs> sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Oh my, do you? <laughs> Contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life. Contestant number one, what is your answer? Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know, I guess. <laughs> Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Send him off. To the dungeon! <laughs> She's got a dungeon. Hey, what what did you say? The the dungeon? Oh, oh my god. The other sprout moles. Oh my. Help me! Now, on to contestant number two. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, but obviously there is. Just answer truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Oh, well, um, sure, if that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one. This very being offends me. Take him away, boys. Damn, she got something against sprout moles? Or is she just trying to get to hero quickly? <laughs> Contestant number three, it looks like you're the last one standing. Yeah, I'm so glad um, Space Boyfriend or Captain Space Boyfriend uh, got over her. Really good, because she's very toxic. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all, but it could mean your life. Do you, Hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? <laughs> uh. Well, no. That doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? His sweetheart. In love. What an exciting turn of events! This must be fate! A match made in heaven! He just told you no. <laughs> Wait, but I just said... Ah, yes, yes! You'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh huh. It's, uh, it's a hero, ma'am. Hero? My hero! We must go to my chambers at once. Whoa! Your chambers? Girl, you move fast! No, Hero, don't go with her. This is S.A. Or beginning to turn out like one. Guards, I have chosen my sister. She's a hoe. <laughs> a hoe for Hero, for sure. Dang. Take him away. Oh my god. Are we gonna battle the guards? Guys, uh, please do something. Oh, we're coming, Hero. Whoa! Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart! What was wrong with the Sprout Moles? They seem nice. Short Kings! I didn't see them that one coming at all. K 
Cal, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Cal. You're so useless. Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. <laughs> um, I don't think she's going to listen to me. Just do it already! Oh my god. Alright, is it, is it her turn to be heartbroken? Oh, she's got this coming, Karma. Heck yeah! Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. Sweetheart? Ma'am? Ah, uh, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. God, I hate her. I hate her so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so nice of you. I mean... Uh, why do I have to do this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Oh, why? Whatever do you mean, my prince? I, um... This is all really flattering and all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago and... Well, I have to reject your, um... Offer? Oh, pish posh! Don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It... It's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. This... This is preposterous. No. This... This is blasphemy. You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart. You hear me? Everyone. Send him off to the dungeon! Hey, stop right there. You can't take Hero. He belongs to us. What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me during my own show? I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away! The sight of them is giving me a headache. Oh dang! Oh no, you've done it, Aubrey. Ooh, we're fighting. Ooh, we're fighting. Oh no, we're not. We're in the dungeons. Aw. Oh. oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry guys, it's my fault that we're all in this mess. No, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. Oh, it's the much less. Oh wait, no, that's the the female mole, cause the the bow in her hair. We saw her at the junkyard. We took the disc away from her. <laughs> you fools! Don't you recognize me? Now I do. <laughs> it's me, Rosa. The number one sweetheart fan in the world. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses! We've been bamboozled! <laughs> I should have known you were behind this, Rosa. <laughs> Kel is Rosa, you're like arch nemesis now? It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. Dang it, now how are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they'd just leave the gate unlocked, would they? 
look, they left it unlocked. <laughs> nope, you don't see me. Nope. I gotta look at the toilet. Oh, you got ramen! Hell yeah! Oh, this is a good song. Oh, his name is Harold. They got names. What's over here? Oh, Kel. Do your thing, Kel. Schmeck. Oh, nice. This is not Food Punch. Oh. Oh. That's disturbing. Oh. <laughs> the battle axe is taped to him. Oh, their name is Marsha? Sorry, Marsha. Oh, this is a cute room. Whose room was this? Yeah, it does look like Space Boyfriend's room. What the heck? A vanity, but the mirror makes you look especially unflattering. Wow, okay. Telescope, but the lens is covered with tape. A bunch of books, but all the pages are glued shut. Man, what do they have against books? Oh, get in there. Hurry! No! Ow, oh, crud. Oh, what's this? Nice. Alright, Aubrey. Smash them. Pots. Oh, hey, it's the two dudes. What's up? Oh no, what are we gonna do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh no. Okay, they say the same things. Ooh, alright, Kel. It's your time to shine. Sweet. Hey. Huzzah! After countless failures. Oh, this is Prisoner Mole. I finally almost made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. You're in the way, bud. Oh, hey, so by those stairs, you should keep going right. Okay. Oh, there's a secret. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Thank you. There's a hole in the wall. Oh, my. Squishies. Ooh. Smack them. I got a baseball bat. I'm not afraid to use it. You got Topo. Oh, my gosh. Look at all these poor skeletons. Oh my god! Oh heck no! I can't help but feel bad for Marsha. She's so cute and sad. She's been forced to work. It looks like she's being forced to fight with it being taped on her. It does. It is not alive. There's a flower on what someone said? Oh, there is a flower. Wait a minute. Is this us? Basil? Wait, what? Basil ha No, the flower on the head looks more like Aubrey's. So, four of us, four of these guys. I'm kind of- I'm still kind of confused. I'm confused. Oh, poor Marsha. Sorry. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Can't do anything with this portrait. And I can't do anything with these eyeballs in the walls either. But this is neat. It kind of looks like a party. I think that might be everything in here. Oh, okay. There's a cutscene. Hey, it's Mari! Mari, Mari, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! Oh no! Press the button. Thanks, Mari. Or G. There you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. I promise you'll feel better right away. Alright. I'll feel better smashing these pots. Schmack. Schmack. Alright, let's have a picnic. Yes. Hero, I have a question for you. Do you think she's gonna ask for Hero to give her... To give him her undying love and whatnot? Oh. Was there any chance in the world that you would have said yes to marrying Sweetheart? Oh, what? No way. You know I only have eyes for you, Mari. <laughs> oh, you raised her up! Dang. Ew. You is right, Kel. Hero, that's not what I like about you at all. What? It's not? Then what is it? I can't tell you that, silly. It would ruin the magic. Fine. 
Okay. Keep your secrets. Okay, I really don't get it, but whatever you say. Mari, you don't have to worry about Sweetheart at all. Sweetheart is the worst! I can't imagine anyone being in love with her. Wasn't she with Captain Space Boy though? Hmm, relationships like that are just shallow. You can't compare it to the real deal, like what me and Amori have. Oh my god, Aubrey has a crush on you. Isn't that right, Amori? <laughs> He's just like, eh, fast asleep, I can't hear anything. Amori? Well, <laughs> that was cute. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for future content. I also stream on Twitch every Sunday from 3pm to 8pm Central Standard Time. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll be notified when I go live. See you next time. Bye!